thank you all for being here to celebrate this joyous occasion. I know that I speak for Hallie and Nathan when I say that they are so happy that all of you could be here to help them celebrate this special day. And for those of you who are Olympics fans, uh, today may be a bit familiar. We have rings, we have a ceremony, we have a bunch of athletes, and this is an event that we have all been waiting for for years. Upon meeting Hallie when we were in Washington, I could immediately tell that Nathan could be himself around her. I know this speech is about Nathan, but Hallie, thank you for allowing Nathan to be Nathan. For me, it was evident that Nathan had met his match when he began dating Hallie, and I could tell Hallie felt safe, which is obviously not surprising given his stature. In my years growing up, I never believed anything in life could be perfect. No matter how good something was, I always felt that I could make it better. Little did I know how wrong I could be. Fast forward five years, and here we are getting married in front of our closest friends and family. Somewhere in those five years, a part of me began to see that perfection can exist. I see perfection in your eyes. I feel perfection in your skin. I live perfection in life's everyday moments, like a quick stop to steal a kiss on a walk home from sushi. As long as I am with you, these everyday moments are experienced with a joy and laughter I had never before known because they are experienced together. It's so good. You like it? Mm-hmm. I do. You look very handsome. Thank you. <laughs> each other we loved one another. You said you had secretly been telling me this for weeks by tapping my back or squeezing my hand three times. And for five years now we've been squeezing each other's hands when times are happy, sad, scary, or just because. And so on this day in front of our friends and family, I vow to join your laughter with my own and when you can't look on the bright side to sit in the dark with you. To support you in whatever you choose to do no matter how fast or slow you swim or where we may live and to love you unconditionally as my husband from this day forward, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, until death do us part, this is my solemn promise. And since then, their relationship has grown and blossomed into the beautiful union we see before us today. Nathan has all those characteristics that Hallie has been looking for in her other half. He's fun, playful, caring, and so genuine. Over the years, I've gotten to know Nathan more and more, and I can see exactly what Hallie sees in him. I can hardly wait to see what's next for the two of you. Career-wise, travel-wise, house-wise, kid-wise, everything-wise. Please raise a glass to Hallie and Nathan, Mr. and Mrs. Cheers. By the authority vested in me by the state of California and the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Nathan, you may now kiss the bride.